Argon is an augmented reality web browser for the iPhone. When we created Argon, we wanted to create a platform that allows people to create, distribute, and experience mobile augmented reality using the same skills, tools, and technologies they use right now to create and deliver websites. So if we think about what the web has enabled, where anybody who has a little bit of information can put it out there, and if it's interesting to you, you can get it. So your neighborhood grocery store, your Barnes and Nobles could have a coupon or local specials, and they're available to you on the web, and we use this all the time. There's nothing like that for mobile augmented reality right now. The only kinds of apps that are out there are things where people have had the time, effort, and funds to create a significant application. What we want to do is allow the local grocery store owner to put up their specials so when you look around their store you can see the specials located around you rather than on the screen in 2D. Or if you think about um, fans of TV shows like Sex and the City. If you go to New York, you can take a Sex and the City tour of New York. You can find websites where people map out where all the episodes took place. Those fans who've created those websites could simply add a few scripts, make their website Argon enabled, and now you could go and take a walking augmented reality tour of New York based on your favorite TV show. What we're doing with Argon is letting people create their own interfaces, their own mashups of this information in much the same way that they create websites and deliver it to people. So I could go outside and look around and see what you want me to see, the Flickr images you care about, and have the additional interactions and behaviors that, that you wanted to convey to me, not what some app developer specifically wanted to do.